Once you have your account set up and running, enter your username and password and click login. Next, you will see the project screen. On the top left, there is a plus symbol where you click to create a new scribe. The next square is where you can access scribes you have saved to the cloud. The other squares are your previously created projects saved locally. They are sorted by newest first by default. This can be changed from here. You can sort by newest first, oldest first, or name order. You could also go through pages of projects from here. If you are searching for a specific project or set of projects with the same word, you can create filter by clicking this filter shaped icon and entering a keyword. If you want to delete the filter, you just remove the keyword from the text box and click OK. To import .scribe files, videoscribe own file format, you can do that by clicking the file looking icon at the bottom right of the screen and navigating to the file. Anytime you save your file as a .scribe, you can open it on any computer that has videoscribe and start to edit it. The other way to save your project is by saving it to the cloud. This means that your project is saved directly to Videoscribe servers. If you saved a project to the cloud, you can access it and edit it on any computer that has internet connection and has Videoscribe installed. You can access all your saved projects to the cloud by clicking on the cloud icon on the project screen. Or you can go to your profile on Videoscribe website. Cloud is a good option for those who work on multiple computers frequently. Continuing down the line, there is a question mark icon where you can go to Videoscribe help website. Or watch some tutorial videos and get support for any problems you may encounter. Finally, we have the default settings icon. Let's check those settings in details next.